Previously, I showed you how to create centering rings on your computer and then printing them to a sheet of paper. Now we're going to take these and we're going to mount them on cardboard so that we can use them in our rocket. The cardboard that we need is some thick, heavy-duty uh, cardboard, uh, but not the corrugated variety. Uh, you might find an old shoe box or a, a cereal box uh, that you can scrounge some cardboard from. We're going to start by taking some 3M spray mount. And we're going to spray the back side of the ring just very, very lightly. And we want to do this outside so that we don't get uh, residue all over our table. But I'm going to do it right here real quick. And that's about all it takes. Now let's take a scissors and just trim around the outside and leave a little bit around the perimeter of the rings. Now this is not very tacky at this point and we don't need it tacky. We just want to just hold it in place on our cardboard. Now we're going to take our hobby knife and we're going to start cutting these out. And as as always, whenever we use the hobby knife, make sure you wear safety goggles. When you're cutting rings, you're really putting a lot of stress on the sideways portion of the blade. And a lot of the times, you'll find that the very tip will break off. That's why it's important to wear safety goggles when doing this. And when you just do this, start by making a light pass the first time around. Don't try to cut through all the way at one time. And then we'll keep going around and around until we actually cut all the way through the, the cardstock. When you think you're close, you can turn the card over and carefully look at the back side to see where you might have missed a spot. I got a little gap right there and a little gap right here. So I'm not all the way through, but I'm getting pretty close. Okay, and then we can start cutting on the outside. And now we got one of the rings. First thing we want to do is to test fit it onto a tube. And this is actually a pretty good fit, but usually you'll get it where it's too tight on the tube. So then take one of your dowels that you've wrapped with sandpaper from before and we'll sand the inside edge of that. And you want a fairly snug fit. The tighter the fit, the stronger the ring will be. And then we'll also check the outside diameter to make sure it will fit into the tube we want it to go in. And this is also a pretty good fit. But if it wasn't, then you would take a sanding block for the outside and you could go around the edge and smooth it down so that it does fit into the tube nicely. The piece of paper on the outside can also be removed at this point and you can just discard that and when you're done you have your nice centering ring.